Hello everyone! The second day of the Grand Prix stage in Rhythmic Gymnastics, which takes place in Moscow, has finished. And today I'll talk about the outcome of the international tournament as well as Grand Prix and what happened to Arena Verina. And before you start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put your thumbs up so that my videos appear in recommended ones for those who still don't know about my channel. And let's get started! The international junior tournament ended fairly predictable. Among the gymnast medals were played in individual performance as well as in the team competition. Despite the fact that there were many Russian gymnasts performing, only one gymnast from the country rose on the podium. Therefore, the protocols and the awards are not completely identical. In the final with a rope, Olga Krasova won the gold medal, Eva Brezalieva from Bulgaria won the silver medal, and Salma Salone from Spain won the bronze medal. According to the protocol, the second and third place were taken by gymnasts from Russia, Sofia Gafanova and Arina Timoshina. In the final with a ball, Alexandra Skubova got gold, silver went to gymnasts from Bulgaria, Yeva Brizaliva and bronze for gymnasts from Greece Maria Lukaki Kuriaki. According to the protocols, the second place was taken by Vladislava Nikolaenka and the third place by Katerina Pantileva. In the final with clubs, Olga Karasova won the gold medal again. In second place was Svetlana Nikolova from Bulgaria, and in third place was gymnast from Romania Annalisa Dragon. According to protocols, the difference was only in the third place that was taken by Anna Popova. The final with the ribbon was won by Diana Simoshina from Russia. In second place was Salma Salone from Spain, and in third place was Eva Brizaliva from Bulgaria. According to the protocols, Alexandra Skubova is in the second place, and Sofia Nikeva is in the third. In the team event, only one team from the country could place on the podium. So the first place was taken by the Russian team alone, consisting of Diana Simoshina, Olga Karasova, Alexandra Skubova, and Sofia Gafanova. In second place, the team of Bulgaria and the third place was taken by Team Spain. According to the protocols, the second place was taken by Russian Team 2. Anastasia Simakova won the International Senior Tournament. Here, only one gymnast from the country could also place on the podium. Second place was taken by Alina Garnasko from Belarus and bronze by Sabina Tashkinbaeva, representing Uzbekistan. According to the protocols, in the second place is Maria Sergeyeva and in the third place is Anastasia Guzinkova. In the all-around Grand Prix, Dina Averina won the gold medal, silver went to Daria Trubnikova, and bronze to Lala Kramarenka. This all around was definitely unexpected, as well as the start of the season for senior ladies. An unlimited number of gymnasts from the country could climb the podium, so the whole podium was taken by Russian gymnasts. I'm very happy for Lala and Dasha that they performed so well at their first tournament this year. Yekaterina Silizneva is in fourth place in the all around. She didn't succeed today. Following her is Maria Pabidushkina, in sixth place is Yekaterina Vidineva from Slovenia, followed by Silave Pajava from Georgia, Kristina Granichna from Ukraine, Yeva Milishuk from Ukraine, and Yelena Kaledati from Greece who closes the top 10. There is a little confusion in the protocols and so not all the gymnasts are waiting for their last apparatus. Arina Verina was uh, removed from the competition, presumably due to a leg injury. They decided to take care and recover her. The Olympic season is very important and it's important to go through it without serious injuries. The path is not easy, especially because young gymnasts are pulling themselves up. Well, and a little about the new routines. In Dina Verina club's exercise are really like the music and work with the apparatus. Be it clarity. Dina is bewitching and it's hard to tear an eye from her. For Ribbon, she has an incredibly beautiful suit. I like the music and an exercise as a whole. The music is not clutched and there are several points that are just wow. In general, Dina is dressed very cool this year, just like a champion. Lala Kramarenko is a star of this tournament. With each new exit to the carpet, I fell in love with her more and more. For Ribbon exercise, she has a wild suit. I'll say about music again that it appears too often. And I cannot say that I really enjoyed the performance. But in contrast, the clubs are simply amazing. Lala is awesome. Her performance is just at the height. I was afraid for her when she went from junior program that her clarity will go away. But in my opinion, she became even cooler. At the beginning of the exercise, Lala struggled and I was a little bit scared. Apparently, for her, it's still difficult to perform at such a pace. But she's right in the middle. And on the Instagram of Dmitry Kornif, there is a very cool video before Lala goes onto the carpet. I think a new world star is being born in front of our eyes. Another star is Daria Trubnikova, 
who showed herself very cool in this tournament. I like the exercise with Ribbon, as well as her music, and especially the suit. Katya Selesnyova has good moments in clubs, but I didn't like the music, it's too dry, although probably good for clubs. The Ribbon in this regard was so much better. Yesterday in a video about group members, I said that I want something new from them, such as new supports and corporations, and I really liked one comment about the fact that the Olympic season is the main thing to work, and I really liked one comment about the fact that the Olympic season is the main thing to work out. I even thought it's true that the main thing is to have time to roll it away. And then I remembered Yana and Rita, who completely renewed their exercises for the Olympic season. Yana even removed her signature element that she had been doing for several years. By this I mean that the Russian team has the closest attention and their exercises become the most boring, since you watch them the most and want something new and cool in order to say wow. As for example, at this competition it was with Lala and Dasha Trubnikova. Well, a little not related to the performance, but also related to the competition. I received a large number of messages and I read on the forums that it was really difficult to get tickets for the Grand Prix and the fight was like for a war. But as it turned out, the hall was in fact half empty. This of course can be explained by the fact that not everyone who bought the tickets sat there all day. But I also received a complaint that for some tickets they returned the money and people will not be able to go to the finals on Sunday. Supposedly part of the hall will be closed. In general, strange things are happening with the tickets and as far as I remember it is not the first year. But of the pleasant thing, in the hall during the breaks there were contents and games with the audience and someone even left with a present, such as t-shirt. By the way, don't forget that you can buy t-shirts from my collection with cool well-known quotes from coaches. A link to the website where you can see and buy them is in the description below. I'm waiting for your comments about the Grand Prix. Write how did you like the performances of girls and who was the best in your opinion. And well, I'll see you very soon in the next video. Remember that I love you all and for now, goodbye.